the Argentine army is once again at a critical juncture, as efforts to modernize its wheeled armored combat vehicles, VCBR, fleet have stalled. Despite years of planning and discussions about incorporating new 8x8 vehicles, the program remains in limbo with no definitive progress, leaving both technical and strategic decisions unresolved. For several years, the NZLAV-M1126 Striker has emerged as the preferred option for the modernization program. Its various capabilities align well with Argentina's military requirements, offering versatility in different operational environments. However, despite the apparent advantages of the Striker, an official decision on its acquisition has yet to be made. This delay has prompted military authorities to explore other alternatives that could meet the country's needs, including the Pander II. The Pander II, initially developed in Austria by Steyr Daimlerpuck and now produced by Tatra Defense Vehicle in the Czech Republic under General Dynamics European Land Systems, is increasingly seen as a viable alternative. With its proven track record in various international armies, the Pander II has gained attention as a robust and adaptable option. Feasibility studies suggest that this vehicle could be tailored to meet Argentina's specific operational requirements, offering a solution that might better address long-term needs. Yet, the ongoing discussions around the striker continue to dominate. One concern frequently raised is whether the NZLAV, a variant of the striker platform, can be integrated effectively given the logistical and maintenance challenges associated with used and potentially outdated equipment. The logistical diversity between the LAV-3 platforms, which the NZLAV is based on, and the striker adds another layer of complexity that the army must consider. The re-equipment program has not been without criticism. A key point of contention is the potential acquisition of used NZLAVs. Critics argue that their age and the obsolescence of some of their components could undermine their effectiveness in future combat scenarios. Additionally, concerns about long-term logistical support and maintenance, especially in a force already dealing with diverse platforms, further complicate the decision-making process. The larger issue is that this situation reflects broader systemic challenges faced by the Argentine armed forces. Delays in several key re-equipment programs across all branches have created capability gaps that could weaken national defense in the face of growing security challenges. These delays have not only hindered the modernization of the VCBR fleet but have also slowed down critical upgrades in other areas, exacerbating vulnerabilities. As it stands, the future of the VCBR modernization program remains uncertain. The Argentine army finds itself at a crossroads, with critical decisions looming over which platform, if any, will be chosen to revitalize its aging fleet. Whether the NZLAV-M1126 Striker or the Pander II ultimately prevails, the decision will have far-reaching implications, not just for the army but for the entire national defense strategy. The ongoing delays and indecision come at a time when regional and global security threats are becoming more complex. The Argentine army's ability to address these challenges will depend heavily on how swiftly and decisively it moves to close these capability gaps. In the current climate of uncertainty, the stakes could not be higher.